this these two are very important words they make the starting of the quran they make the starting of our salah these are the words we start our day with alhamdulillah allazi ahyana ba'da ma amatina wa ilayhi an-nushur and these are the words when we meet each other and we greet each other and when somebody asks her how are you what do we say alhamdulillah then these are the words we also say when we complete our food and our meal and uh, when we get a good news we have been taught to recite alhamdulillah allazi azhaba an alhazani wa inna rabbana la ghafurun shakur and uh, we see somebody in hardships or in a calamity and crisis and even then prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has taught us to recite the words alhamdulillah allazi afani min mabtalahu bihi and uh, then when we sneeze we say alhamdulillah and you know what the first words of uh, the sermon of nikah which prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to recite the first words is also the first words of the sermon of nikah are also alhamdulillah so it is uh, these two words are of very uh, very important and the meaning is al means all or the and hamd means praise so alhamdu means what all praise be to whom allah now remember saying or uttering alhamdulillah these two words by the word of mouth these two words they should infuse they should inject they should promote or they should inculcate four basic feelings in the person who is uttering these words the first being zikr that is remembrance of allah the second being shukr that is gratitude to allah third being sabr that is patience in the obedience of allah and the fourth is negation of arrogance and takabbur that is humbleness these four these four activities or actions are what they are the four steps to janna the first four runs of the ladder to janna the first is zikr now alhamdulillah how does alhamdulillah tree, train us for remembrance of allah or zikr alhamdulillah all praise is for allah it teaches us what it reminds us that we need to praise him we need to glorify him in our routine in abundance continuously then the second thing shukr or gratitude like you see when someone praises us someone says you have beautiful black silky hair you have a wonderful house what a fantastic lawn you have what do we say we say a believer says alhamdulillah so this is what these words make us have a realization that we need to acknowledge and remember the bounties and blessings of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now sabr like you know when we are not feeling well or we are sick and somebody asks us how are you feeling now what do we say alhamdulillah this is what this is patience so frequently saying the words of alhamdulillah should make us more patient and more tolerant and the fourth thing is humbleness how does alhamdulillah the words of alhamdulillah how does this promote the feeling of humbleness you know like when somebody um, a friend of mine comes and talks to me and says that you know your son is really brilliant what what do i say or what should i say 
Am I supposed to say that? Oh, yes, I know. It's all, it's all because of my efforts. You know, I really worked hard with him. I struggled. All the boys, their moms used to be sleeping and I used to be working with him. I used to be teaching him. I took him to all the best tuition centers and I used to work and I used to sit with him throughout the night. No, a believer will not say that, but a believer will say what? It is all because of the blessing and karam of my Allah. A believer by saying these words will stop depending or will stop boosting about herself, but will accept the fuzzle and the karam of Allah Kareem. And so rather than turning into an arrogant and a pompous soul, the person saying Alhamdulillah will become humble and the person will tend to stay humane rather than being arrogant and proud. So in a nutshell, the message of Alhamdulillah is that we need to remember that we do say Alhamdulillah very, very often. But saying that so often, we need to think is that are we grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Do we remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and make plenty of sikr? Are we patient? And are we, are we steadfast while obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? 